My sweet Rose, words cannot describe how lonely I've been without you. Centuries of misery and pain, too many years spent so utterly alone. Too many would assume that because one's heart no longer beats, it no longer needs certain things, that it no longer feels a thing at all. Warmth and care, passion and kindness, and love. Stories may say that such things are gone from my heart, but that simply is not true. I may not breathe, but I feel. I may not bleed, but I yearn. I may be dead, but I love. A monster I may be, my rose, but even a monster will want and wish and love. Love. Is that such a terrible thing for one to want? Can you not understand my love? I wish that you would. I wish that you would listen to my tale and see me as more than some raging, bloodthirsty beast. But you are too stubborn and too scared of me, as humans often are. But this beast has power, abilities that came to my aid. Oh, my Rose, I know it was wrong. I, I know to do such things to you. I knew that I shouldn't, but my heart longed for you so greatly, and you could not imagine the pain. My life before you was lonely, but my life without you was simply unbearable. Every waking moment I spent longing for you, calling for you, my unbeating heart begging to be yours. But you did not heed my call. You did not come to me and I was forced to make a choice between doing something terrible or spending my eternity without you. And the latter was something I could not bear. I am sorry that I killed them. You must believe me when I say that I meant that person no harm, for my hatred of them burned greatly, for I knew that you loved them dearly and I was jealous. I did not wish to kill them, but when I crept into your bedroom, as I had done so many nights before, I had another plan in mind. I had thought that I would enchant you just long enough to take you away to my dark home. An enchantment of the mind does not last forever, but it would last just long enough to take you away with me. Once you were home, I thought that I would woo you. I had hoped that you would be able to look beyond the beast and see, see a woman, a woman that you might come to love. Oh, my sweet Rose, I had so many ideas, so many hopes for us, and for our future together. But just when this dream was to come to life, they came. The sight of them set you free from my magic. They called to you, and you heeded them, and the act sent me into such a rage. My Rose, you must understand I never meant for any of it to happen. I never wanted to kill that person. I never wanted to hurt you in such a way. The tears you shed for them broke my heart. The way you held them close and screamed brought me such shame. I had no choice but to enchant you once more pulling you away with me. As I write this letter, you remain enchanted still. By my side you smile, but it is not your smile. It is not you at my side. Not truly. A fraction of you is still there, dulled by my magic, but it is not a mere fraction that I want. And I know that I cannot continue to deceive you like this. When my enchantment wears away, I will not allow it, and I will not set another one upon you unless I absolutely must do such a thing. When you read this, the magic will be gone from your mind, and I will be away from your side. I, I shall give you time to understand, my Rose. I can only hope that you read this letter and, at the very least, understand this one thing. 
I shall not harm you. Hurting you is something I cannot bear, my Rose, and it is not my intention. It never was. You must know this. My intention is only to love you and hold you and keep you at my side. And I hope that you might one day be happy here. That you might hold me in return and love me as I love you. Don't you see? Don't you understand? We could be so happy together. With my bite, I could make you into the perfect creature. Untouched by the cruelty of time, everlasting at my side. Would that not be wonderful? Would we not be happy together? Whatever your heart desires, I will give it to you. Whatever wish you make, I will grant. As long as you are with me. As long as you love me. I know that our joint immortality could be a perfect one, my sweet Rose. If only you would accept it. If only you would accept me. Forget about them. Forget about everything. It matters not. Your life is mine. Your heart is mine, and I am yours, as I will always be. It hurts now, but eternity is long, and memories fade fast. You will forget all about this pain one day, and then, my sweet Rose, then there will be nothing but our love. To our eternity, Nehru.